Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cynical and welcome back to another video, guys. Today for you dudes, I wanted to sit down and talk a little bit about PlayStation and E3. For this, yes, E3 is recently, we received a little bit of an update to do with exactly what we should be expecting from PlayStation's E3 conference for this year's E3. Now this information is actually coming from Sean Layden himself, the big dog at PlayStation. Recently, the PlayStation blog decided to interview Sean Layden and within that interview, they talk a little bit about PlayStation's E3 2018 conference. In the interview, they actually talked a little bit about exactly what we should be expecting in the ways of PlayStation and E3 this year and Sean Layden actually got into a little bit of information as to exactly what PlayStation are going to be doing different this year with their conference compared to how they've handled their conference in previous years. Now if you guys have tuned in to E3 you know throughout these past few years or whatever and you've always managed to tune into the PlayStation conference then you guys should know that the way that PlayStation tend to do their conferences is they will step forward announce one game, step forward again, announce another game, trailer after trailer after trailer after trailer. That's usually a really exciting template. Uh, this is a template that we've been used to, it's a format we've been used to, but this year, PlayStation are deciding to actually switch it up a little bit. And rather than having game after game after game, they're wanting to focus specifically on four upcoming titles that will be hopefully soon releasing on the PlayStation 4. And these four titles will be Spider-Man, Death Stranding, The Last of Us Part 2, and Sucker Punch's upcoming Ghost of Tsushima. 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 Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsatsu. Ghost of... Samurai. Now this can be both kind of disappointing but exciting at the same time. For me personally, I look at this as an exciting thing mainly because these four titles are four titles that personally I am extremely interested in. Let's start off with Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, this is Sucker Punch's upcoming brand new project and as you guys should know, Sucker Punch have sort of been on the down low for quite some time ever since the release of Infamous Second Son. So I'm really excited to see where Sucker Punch are venturing to next with Ghost of Tsushima. You guys should know that this game was actually announced uh, Paris Games Week of 2017. So it is actually a recent announcement and we haven't actually seen too much on this title in particular. What we do know is it's going to be a samurai based game set in feudal Japan. And from what we know about the story so far, it's about protecting your homeland of Tsushima from the Mongol Empire. One other important thing to note about the gameplay is that this will be in an open world format. We've only received one trailer that shows us a very small cinematic, but when it comes to the gameplay, that's what I think most of us are very interested in. Exactly how is this game going to play? Is it going to play like a sort of Souls-esque type of game where it's very dodge and block dependent and quite tactical? Or is this more so going to be focused around maybe God of War-esque gameplay where it's very hack and slash? This is obviously an upcoming major PlayStation 4 release. It's a first party title, so to no surprise, of course, it would be one of the focused titles for PlayStation's conference this year. Next is Spider-Man, so I think this is really a no-brainer. This is going to be one of the biggest first-party releases for PlayStation this year. And all eyes are set on Spider-Man for a very good reason. It seems like Insomniac are absolutely killing it when it comes to the whole Spider-Man aesthetic. I mean, I feel like it's been a little while since we last received a very decent Spider-Man game. I mean, the last one I remember playing that was actually like, holy crap, jaw-dropping, Spider-Man 2, my dude. Pizza delivery swinging and slanging through New York City. Hell yes. I swear to God, dude, if we don't get a pizza delivery mini game in this new Spider-Man game, I'm shit bricks. However though, I'm really excited to see more of Spider-Man at this point. We've seen quite a lot of it. Insomniac have been dropping a lot to do with Spider-Man throughout 2018 so far. So I would say E3 will most likely provide us with a brand new trailer. We do know that this game is releasing uh, in September of this year, actually, so it's not too far away. The Last of Us Part 2, okay, so this is a no-brainer once again. One of the biggest upcoming first-party titles for PlayStation 4. This is Naughty Dog's next big project and bearing away from Uncharted. Finally, we're getting the continuation of The Last of Us. The last trailer we got was uh, some pretty goddamn brutal stuff. Oh my god, chill. So I'm really excited to see exactly what Naughty Dog dropped for us next in the ways of The Last of Us Part 2. I'm really hoping hoping that we also do get some sort of an idea as to exactly when this game is coming out. 
and currently it has no release date. I don't know if it will be a 2018 title. I would say likely that The Last of Us Part 2 will release sometime in 2019. But please, let E3 2018 be the place where we actually get to see some gameplay of this beautiful thing. Similar to the Death Stranding situation, The Last of Us Part 2 so far we've only seen cinematic based trailers. And while that's fine because, you know, The Last of Us and Uncharted, they're such cinematic games, I think we're getting to the point where it's like, okay, dude, Naughty Dog, we're itchy to see some of this in action, man. We know that The Last of Us Part 2 is going to be focusing on a older Ally, and apparently it's been said that she is going to be the main playable protagonist of the game, opposed to that of Joel. Uh, Joel is still in The Last of Us Part 2, but I would say that he's going to be playing more of the sidekick role this time around, and Ellie will be stepping into the shoes of the main protagonist. The other thing, we also received a brand new trailer for The Last of Us Part 2 at Paris Games Week last year, and the footage that you guys are seeing on screen as of right now is that exact trailer. In this trailer, we actually got introduced to a brand new character, and it makes me think that The Last of Us Part 2 might be focusing on multiple characters, or maybe just two, both Ellie and this girl right here and perhaps maybe at some point both of these characters will actually meet up in the game and their paths will align. Definitely looking forward to finding out more about this girl right here though she looks like an absolute bad. So yeah hopefully E3 2018 will actually provide us with a little a bit of gameplay towards The Last of Us. Fingers crossed. And the final game that we'll be getting focused on is Death Stranding. So this game has been a complete mind-boggling messy porridge because no one knows what the hell's going on. No one knows how this game even plays. For all we know, this could be one massive huge game of Mahjong. What we do know is Kojima is brewing up something extremely intriguing and all of us want to know more. Exactly what is the picture? What is the story? What is the essence behind Death Stranding? What the hell is going on? What does any of this stuff in the trailer even mean? And exactly how does this game play? So like I was saying with The Last of Us, uh, we actually haven't seen any gameplay towards Death Stranding as well. We've received cinematic trailer after cinematic trailer after cinematic trailer. Now in Death Stranding's case, I actually don't mind it too much because in every single trailer that we get, it just becomes more and more and more confusing. And I think that's kind of the beauty behind Death Stranding. But I definitely will not be complaining if Kojima steps forward to say, all right guys, I'm about to play a live demo in front of all you dudes. This is exactly what this game is about. When it comes to the gameplay of Death Stranding though, like I was saying, you know, we haven't seen any of it and we don't even know what type of a game this even is. When looking towards The Last of Us Part 2, yeah sure we've received cinematic trailer after cinematic trailer and so far we've seen no gameplay, but we can't assume exactly how The Last of Us Part 2 will play out. It will likely play similar to the very first game. However, Death Stranding though, because this is a completely new IP, uh, yeah, we've got no idea exactly how this game plays. Is it first person? Is it third person? Is it even a shooter? Or is it just one big game of Mahjong? I don't know. One way or another though, Death Stranding has been extremely excited for E3 this year, so cannot wait to see more. These four games will be the main focus of PlayStation's E3 conference for this year. Now keep in mind, the main focus. This doesn't necessarily mean that these will be the only four games that will appear during PlayStation's conference this year. We are still going to be receiving a few third-party announcements throughout the conference as well, but in the ways of first-party PlayStation exclusives, this is going to be the bulk of it. And like I said, this can be either exciting or of course disappointing depending on how excited you are for these four titles. Now another thing that has also been floating around for the past few months is the speculation behind PlayStation 5. And I don't even know why the speculation exists because as of right now, PS4 has only been out for a total of five years. The cycle of a console generation generally lasts about seven to eight years, so as of right now, sure we're probably about halfway through the PlayStation 4 generation, but in terms of receiving the PlayStation 5, I personally believe like we're quite a way off yet. At earliest, I think we will see the PlayStation 5 maybe in 2020, but honestly I do not understand the speculation that is currently going around with people saying that yes it is possible that the PS5 could perhaps get announced at E3 this year and get released later on in 2018. The reason why I'm bringing this up is in the interview between the PlayStation blog and Sean Layden, 
announcement, Sean Layden actually confirmed that there will not be any new hardware announcements at E3 in the ways of PlayStation. So that pretty much rules out the whole possibility of PlayStation 5 getting announced, as well as other things like maybe advancements towards PSVR or even something like the PlayStation Vita 2. But anyway guys, with all that being said, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Some exciting stuff coming from Sony, especially if you guys are interested in these four upcoming games, then it's going to be a good time and I'm sure that we are going to get a substantial amount of information uh, towards these four games as they will be the focus of Sony's conference. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section down below, I'd love to see them. However guys, until next time, I'll catch you later. Peace.